Okay, so after 20 minutes to half an hour or so, your dough rolls will be ready to be made into, into bases. They should be around about the size of a baseball. Lots of flour on your, on your counter top, and just give it a brush of flour on top as well, just to help you to work it out. And use your rolling pin, use your hands, whatever you're comfortable with, basically to make it into a nice pizza base. Okay, then you've got your base almost ready. Just remember the size of your baking tray. You obviously don't want to have it too big. Too big, too, too big. If you move over to this one, then you see here we have one that we've already got ready. And now we're going to start making our garlic pizza. Okay, so your garlic pizza depends how much garlic you like. Garlic in the middle, a dash of salt. Rosemary, lots of rosemary, and then your olive oil, you can spread that out, and once it's all spread then I'll add the onions afterwards. So get the olive oil nice to side the, to the edges. And then we're pretty much good to go. Of course, you can add your uh, your cheese mix if you want to have an alternative to this. You can add cheese to it as well. Okay, so there we have it, ready to go in the oven. Your garlic pizza, 200 degrees in the oven. You're looking at about seven minutes or so. And once it's done, you can move. the edges should be crisp but not entirely hard. Okay, yeah, moments of truth. The garlic pizza. There we go. Now, hopefully, there we go. It's still nice and loose on the baking tray. And it smells delicious. And after this, we'll show you the margarita.